Welcome to the channel, my name is Dina. In this video, we will look at what I think is the most interesting part of the Titan Arum plant, the flower. The Titan Arum or Amorphophilus Titanum aka Corpse Flower is such a spectacular plant from the massive corm to the stinky flower. No wonder it brought thousands of visitors to the Adelaide Botanic Gardens when it bloomed last month. So I thought of sharing information from the gardens to help us understand and appreciate this amazing and rare plant. The Titan Arum takes about 7 to 10 years to flower from seed. It has the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, up to 3 meters tall. The recent bloom at the Adelaide Botanic Garden is slightly smaller at 1.5 meters and this is because the plant was not grown from seed but was propagated using leaf cuttings of an already established adult titan arum plant. Both the leaf and the inflorescence can grow incredibly fast, sometimes between half a meter to a meter per week. This is the spadix in the center where the plant's actual flowers are found hidden at the base of the plant. And this is the spade. As the flower gets ready to open, a slightly darker coloring starts on the upper portion of the spade. It opens very quickly over a four hour period and it will look like an upside down burgundy skirt. The latest bloom at the Adelaide Botanic was exactly eight weeks between the first sign of the bud becoming active and full flowering of the inflorescence. The flower is open for 24 to 36 hours, then it will start to wilt and collapse. The famous stench is one of the reasons why the plant is so popular. It takes a great recipe to create this. Imagine these scents combined. That of Limburger cheese, which has a strong odor from the bacteria added to the rind. Onion, stale beer, smelly feet, garlic, and rotting fish. The scent is most potent in the first 24 hours of the bloom. It is produced by the plant only at night as it seeks to attract various insects that will pollinate its flowers. The titan arum cannot self-pollinate so it needs these various flies and insects to carry pollen from one plant to another. If it gets pollinated, the plant will produce fruit for the next couple of months and once the fruit is ripe, it will die back and become dormant again. That's all for the Titan Arum. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a like, comment, hit the bell and I'll see you again in my next video.